Hey, aloha everybody and welcome to Beach Walks with Rocks. You can find us at beachwalks.tv. Ready to go? Ready to go? And I still have uh, some baby frogs in my throat, but I'm feeling much better. And I thought I'd turn this into the uh, mind-body flu edition. Because when I get sick, I tend to use that as a time to explore things that might be going on in my life that might be related to my body imposing a little bit of downtime on me. And so for this particular version of the flu that I've had, as really, um, located, focused right on my throat. I've had a very, very sore throat. And for me, that makes me think right away of my throat chakra. And it makes me think about what is it that I'm expressing or not expressing that is trying to work its way up. And so I've been really using this time to meditate a lot on that. And it's one way that I like to make sickness useful. I'm Capricorn, so I like to make things useful. But I really like to, to put a spin on things. Doesn't mean that I believe I got sick because I have a problem expressing myself. It just means that I take this as an opportunity. Second thing is, you know, it's quite cold here, actually. I'd say the temperature is about 75. And with the wind chill, it's probably about 70. And some of you are laughing, I realize. But for us, that's pretty cold. And I came down here actually with the intention of swimming, even though secret cameraman said, don't swim, you'll get sicker. But it's one of these things that I like to balance and really have an open mind about in that for me, swimming is so stress relieving that I'm weighing the pros and cons of that huge benefit of stress relief compared to being kind of cold on the walk back to the car. So now that I'm actually here, I may, I may bag the swimming idea because uh, it's actually about to rain as well. But anyway, I'm delighted to be back and I really appreciate all the very many messages and emails and blessings that you all have sent me. And here I am talking with frog in my throat and I was complaining about that poor newscaster. So my apologies to her. Her voice might have been horrible, but maybe she felt perfectly great and that's why she did her newscast, whoever she was. If you'd like to Skype me and Lexi, you can do so at Roxanne Darling. If you'd like to call, the number is 949-544-1456. Aloha. You can really see the reef. Shake, shake, shake. 